I think it's fair to say at this point that a lot of people are enjoying Season of Discovery. From classic Andes, streamers, even retail Andes who have never played Classic WoW before, everybody seems like they're having a good time with this new addition to Classic WoW. Finding the runes, getting the crates, and just falling in love with Classic WoW all over again. Or maybe for the first time. However, I've seen a number of comments popping up in my comment sections here on Nixium of people asking, what's the big deal? Like, why do people like Season of Discovery so much? Isn't it just classic again with just a few little flavorful additions? So with this video, this is a rant, there's no script or anything. With this video, I want to explain off the top of my head why I think people love Season of Discovery so damn much. Of course, before we dive in, I do have to thank this channel's sponsor, Zygor. It is World of Warcraft's ultimate add-on for classic WoW, retail WoW, it doesn't matter. If you're looking to level faster, make more gold, get those achievements, mounts, pets, Zygor does everything. There's a reason why everybody uses it. You can check it out, links down below in the description, and use code Nixium for 20% off. So let's just begin by establishing a premise, all right? People absolutely love classic World of Warcraft. This is OG WoW. This is 2004 World of Warcraft at its finest. This is the game that changed the gaming landscape as we know it. Blizzard Entertainment went from a very popular RTS company to being like a megalithic gaming titan company pretty much overnight once World of Warcraft came out due to the sheer massive success that this game brought. Millions of people from all around the world tried WoW they fell in love with the game immediately. Some of you guys watching this video right now still might be playing to this day. And you started in 2004, or in my case, I started in 2005. Classic WoW has a vibe to it. It's got a thing. It's got a, a hook that just really took the world by storm. And so it's no surprise that when Blizzard finally decided to re-release Classic WoW in 2019, it was a huge success. Later on, they released Season of Mastery, another big success. They later on decided to release World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore, another big success. And now Blizzard is releasing Season of Discovery, a sort of Classic Plus-esque experiment to see how the community would respond to it, and people absolutely love it. Now, I could make an entire video laying out all the reasons why people love Classic WoW so much, from my reasons to reasons that come from the community that I gather from you guys. I could make a whole video about it, maybe one day I will. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the two big things that I think are the uh, kind of big contributing factors as to why people enjoy Season of Discovery so damn much. The first thing that I would like to talk about is discovery and progression. One of the things that is so good about Classic WoW is its sense of discovery and its character progression as you play through the game. Now, back in 2004, we were obviously discovering Azeroth for the very first time. We had never been to Dunmoreau. We had never been to Ashenvale or to Molten Core or whatever. We were discovering Azeroth as a land anew that we could descend into and find what adventures that we could in this brand new world. When it comes to Classic WoW, now, another thing that we discover as we play through on a new character are new weapons, new spells, new abilities, new talent combinations. We find a new story every time we make a new character. And the thing is, everything that you can discover in the adventure while playing your character on Classic WoW, everything is actually impactful. Everything has value. Every time that you get a new talent point, Every time that you get a new bag for your character, you get a new spell, you enter a new dungeon, you wander into a new zone for the first time, you constantly have this feeling of becoming more powerful, of conquering the world, and just, you've taken another step in a great adventure and it feels freaking great. And the thing is, Blizzard recognized this. Blizzard saw this in Classic WoW. They saw that players loved this about the game. And so what did they do? Well, they gave us more things to discover in the form of runes. And they gave us more things that fueled our progression in the form of things like the crate system. Players love how everything in Classic WoW feels impactful and worthwhile. And so Blizzard gave us these runes that feel impactful and worth pursuing 
and worth playing with. These hidden runes that when they're discovered have abilities attached to them that can even dramatically change the way that you play the game in your class. As a paladin, for example, you might be someone that really wants to tank, but paladins aren't really that good at being tanks. But once you find that adventure shield rune, once you find that taunt, holy crap, a new way of playing the game just opened up to you, being a worthwhile tank to your guild and to your group. As a mage, you might be like, yeah, it's nice being a DPS, but then you go out and find the healing runes as a mage, and you're like, holy crap, I can be a healer now. I can actually fulfill this role to my group, and that's incredible. Whenever you do find a rune, you feel like your character has progressed grown in power, just like whenever you level up your blacksmithing in your character and you can finally craft for yourself your first green pair of male pants. Just like when you go to that class trainer as a warlock and you finally learn fear. Just like when you descend into Wailing Caverns and you get that next piece of the Serpent Fang set. Every time you decide to pursue a path in Classic WoW, or you make a new discovery, or you see what's around the next corner, feels impactful, it feels worth it, and it feels good to get those accomplishments. One of the things that I love in Season of Discovery, for example, that adds to this progressive element of the game is actually the crate system. Look, leveling up your professions in Classic WoW, it's not necessary, but damn, is it helpful. And having these little crates that you can sometimes find out in the open world, in chests, from drops, and so on, that allow you to turn them in to get a little bit of silver or if you've got the right professions, you can actually take the time to stock up these crates with those rough stones or those copper belts or whatever it is that the damn crate is asking for. You can take that time to not only level up your profession, but then go and turn that full supply crate in and make some money off of it. I love this system because it gives you a further incentive to go out level up your professions all the more, and yeah, you get a little bit of money from it, but the real reward is you have progressed further in that mining, that blacksmithing, that leatherworking, whatever, and now you can craft new gear, not only for yourself, but for your fellow players. This allows you to engage more in the in-game economy, making new things, new items. It's taking you further and further towards like what the cap is for professions right now, which I think is 150, right? 150? There was already reason to level up professions, but now Blizzard is just adding it even more and it's great that's the first thing or maybe two you know discovery and progression but the second thing that i would like to talk about is the social element of season of discovery one of the things that classic wow is so well renowned for is its social element after a certain level when you log into classic wow it's only a matter of time before you're going to end up in a group with a group of people whether it's to do an elite quest do a dungeon, maybe to survive in like Ashenvale world PVP, even like in original classic. Wow, I'm not even talking about SOD there, or even just to get with a group of people so that you can get like the same credit for a like a quest mob or something. Players are constantly buffing each other. They're trading items because profession items and the things that you find in the world again actually have a real value and impact. The point is, classic Wow has a huge social element that people love about the game because let's be real about something, okay? I don't know why so many people tend to forget this when it comes to an MMO, but an MMO does not survive because you've got flashy pixels and awesome game mechanics. Yeah, that's fine, but guess what? The game will get boring after a while, and you know what keeps people playing the game for 18 freaking years? It ain't flying dragons, it ain't new particle spell effects, it's the people, it's the friends. The community is the anvil that a game, an MMO, lives and dies on. And people love Classic WoW because Blizzard, be it intentional or not, pushed the community element right to the front and said, look, you are going to make friends in this game or you are not going to survive. You are not going to be the best. And it is great. Blizzard again recognized this and they said, oh, well, if we're going to put this new rune system into the game, if we're going to put like, you know, some big update into Classic WoW, we should add a social element to that update. The rune system, yes, there are runes out there that you can go and you can earn completely on your own. 
but there are other runes out there, plenty of them, where you need an entire group of people in order to get it. Hell, even the, the just the finding of the runes, the Warlock Metamorphosis rune was just found thanks to the effort of all these different Warlock players coming together on Discord, chatting it up and being like, dude, how the heck do we get this thing? And then finally unraveling the secret and discovering this badass rune. That damn tower in the north of Darkshore, even if you are a level 25 paladin or warlock or whatever, you ain't gonna survive walking up there by yourself. You need a group of people to go up there to work with you in order to get the damn orb that's on the table at the very top, and it's fantastic. World PvP in Ashenvale. Dude, as soon as World PvP pops up in a zone in Classic WoW, people are like, dude, invite, invite, invite. They get together and they fight. That's what they do. Groups of Horde, groups in Alliance, all killing each other. And guess what? Ashenvale is some big ass World PvP zone. So if you go to Ashenvale, first thing that happens, message appears in the general chat. Hey, inviting people to fight the Horde. You know, post me for an invite. Okay, and then you join a raid group and you're running around killing Horde players or Alliance players, whatever. Black Fathom Deeps. You got a brand new, easily accessible raid being added to Classic WoW. A 10-man raid converted from a dungeon. Excellent. The reason why people love Season of Discovery so much, Blizzard recognized what made Classic WoW special. The sort of, you know, proto-primordial elements of Classic WoW that people enjoy so much discovery, progression, the social element of the game, so on and so forth. And rather than adding some BS new system to the game that felt completely out of place in Classic WoW, Blizzard just said, well, people like Classic, let's just give them more Classic. People love discovery and progression. Let's make it so you can discover runes out in the world. Let's make it so you have extra incentive to go out and progress your professions. Let's just do that. People love the social element of Classic WoW. Let's make a lot of the runes require groups in order to get them. Let's add an easily accessible 10 player raid to Classic WoW. Let's lower down the level cap a bit so that, you know, more people can get to level cap, level 25. They can feel like a bunch of badasses. Like, yeah, I did it. I hit level 25 in Classic WoW. They can go out, they can raid, they can engage in the world PVP, so on and so forth. Blizzard didn't do anything new. They even just took damn spells and stuff from future expansions and just threw it into Classic WoW and were like, okay, here you go. This is what you're looking for. This is what you're seeking to find. And that's it. This is how Blizzard's philosophy needs to be going forward, not just in Classic WoW with whatever season of Discovery is going to turn into down the road, but even Retail WoW, guys. Like, dude, if your game is beloved because of its social element, don't try to kill it. Add to it. If people love your game because they love discovering all the cool new things and systems and they feel like everything's impactful and they're progressing, you know, as a character in your world, don't change that. Just maintain it. Don't make it so that the world is easy as piss to traverse through. Make it so that every time you get a new piece of gear, you actually feel more powerful than you can actually survive the world a little bit easier. If players love the social element of the game, if that's the thing that keeps players playing for 18 freaking years, don't sit there and say, well, let's create a single player version of the damn game. That's not the right approach. You're trying to fix something that ain't freaking broken. And the reason why people love Season of Discovery so damn much is you didn't try to fix what wasn't broken. You just gave us more of the same crap that we were already enjoying. And that's why people love SOD so much. That's it. Those are my quick thoughts based on those comments that are popping up in my YouTube comments section. Again, no script. I'm just ranting and speaking from the heart here. I'm sure you guys are going to think of things that I didn't think of in this past however long it's been of me recording this. If you have anything that you want to say, leave it down in the comments section below. Guys, we're nearing 500,000 subscribers. Of course, I'd appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and the like button. You know, I got to be a typical YouTuber and be like, yeah, you know, got to hit that goal of 500,000. Maybe we'll do something special for 500,000. We'll see. Maybe I'll make like a celebratory machinima or something like we'll see. But either way, thanks for watching the video, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in SOD.